Hi everybody, all my followers, uh, welcome to another video. This uh, video today is on uh, 2011, uh, 2000, yeah, 2011, I'm sure it is, uh, Peugeot 308 with the 1.6 uh, HDI engine. And this car came to me, right, the full story is I was uh, requested to have a look at this car uh, because the battery light was on. So I agreed to have a look at it and they dropped me the car um, outside um, by the by the sidewalk and um, they knocked on the door and they said to me oh you need to park the car because the car doesn't start from the key and uh, and I said what do you mean and he said oh the car only starts with a push so if you engage gear press clutch push the car I'm sure you all know how it's done uh, but he said but from the key it doesn't start and uh, and I said well but you never said that to me you only said it was the battery issue the light the battery light um anyway um I parked the car here, so the car is now inside my driveway right here. And when I move the car from outside to here, uh, this is what I've noticed. Uh, battery light was on, ABS light was on, ESP light was on, uh, engine light was on with the with a anti-pollution fault, whatever that was. And uh, the car had no power steering, okay? So, was much more than just a battery light. So, I'm going to show you uh, that the car doesn't start, so you can turn the, 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 the key on. And now when I try to crank the engine, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but the only thing you hear is going to be a click coming from the engine and the entire thing turns off. Let me see if you can hear this. Uh, probably not. Uh, yeah, you just you just hear this sort of leak sort of coming from the engine bay and uh, but it doesn't crank so the car uh, went now into uh, economy mode which only will only come off economy mode once uh, you start the engine I don't know how good the battery is the car is here now parked for about two weeks I haven't even done nothing on the car until today but the first thing I'm gonna try to do is scan the car and try to go from there now I haven't done any inspections yet I haven't even opened the bonnet so I don't know exactly what's going on uh, it might be that it's gonna be something something simple I don't know but we're gonna try a scan and see what's in there see if there's anything in there that gives us any clues and go from there really okay and according to the scanning tool the battery is indeed a little bit low 11.89 volts but should be enough for us to carry on a scan and uh, and go from there really in the meantime i'll get the battery uh, charger to keep up the battery and um, most likely after this i'm going to do a visual inspection check everything around all that good stuff and uh, and see what we can find okay and i've done an auto scan just to go through every single issue and uh, as you're going to see the only faults i have is up here uh, which is kind of coincide it kind of coincides with uh, how I, I got the car so let's gonna see what my BSI tells me it's a little bit off glaring there isn't it let me maybe like that no it's the same thing sorry about the glare guys It's gonna check my trouble codes. Okay, uh, okay, number plate, forget about that. Service battery voltage, okay, fault absent of command of the starter, okay. Supply central power switch positive supply relay controlled, but detected open. Okay, we have an issue there. Okay, relay to open with the vehicle moving. Okay, we have something there. Okay. And no communications with the power steering ECU. So, okay, so we're going to leave these uh, faults. Well, actually, we're going to clear these faults. And this one comes on straight away again. It's gonna go back. 
back. Do I have communications with my power steering? No, I don't. Okay, so my power steering ECU is offline. Okay, let's gonna go to the engine. Engine preheating, now worried, engine additive, now worried, particle now worried, multiplex additive, now worried, now worried, alternator lean network, this worries me. Okay, so this worries me, and most likely this can be why my engine, my battery light was on, we don't know yet, but we have um, a local network line here, fault, okay, let's gonna, actually let's gonna do the same as we did on the BSI which is clear these folds okay just hold a sec okay and after erased no faults came back which is good actually but we haven't had the engine running so we don't know yet let's gonna go back oh actually it came back to faults hold on a second let's gonna see where they are Engine preheating, additive, adding. Okay, now worried with these two faults for now. It's gonna go back. And I wanna see my ABS. And I do have. Okay, so we have, it looks like we have a power supply issue to the ABS pump. That's why it looks like. Um, now, if you guys follow my channel, uh, you have seen me doing a few, actually I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for that video, um, for the corroded wires due to the battery acids and vapors right over there. Now, is that affect this car as well? Well, I don't know, let's gonna have a look. Okay guys, and I think I found the issue, uh, but before I show you, um, I want to take you through uh, my thinking process, okay? Because uh, that, a lot of the times, is whether the, 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 the difference between get it right or not uh, is, is, is the correct diagnosis, is follow the correct procedures, not even the, pro the correct procedures, follow the correct thinking process, you know? Uh, because it doesn't start, you're not going to look if you have a flat tire, do you? So, I think the, 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 that's the main thing. So, the, the first thing I thought was a little bit odd was why I didn't have communications with my um, steering pump or my steering module. module. And that was the first thing I thought, mm, okay, so I went in there and I took the battery out. I took this uh, top uh, uh, plastics here uh, that covers... Uh, the, the the sort of the, the, the firewall in there. So I took that off and um, the first thing I wanted to check like I said on the last clip was to check if there was any corrosion on those uh, on that loom that runs along the battery. Uh, I didn't have to strip too much. I've just pulled the sleeve back. I'll show you in a minute. I pulled the sleeve back and the wires they look amazingly good. Uh, no signs of nothing there. Um, yes, I didn't expose the entire loom only a little bit but that kind of gives me a sign of one might could be wrong or not, or if there was any issues in there or not. And as soon as I've seen the wires were that good, I thought, okay, maybe that this is actually good in here. And from there I thought, okay, let me check all my fuses, which I did, everything was good. And some of you are going to say, well, you should have checked that before. Um, I had a quick look at them. They look good, so I was not too worried about. But anyway, from there, um, I thought, okay, let me... The first thing I want to do is see if I have, uh, why I don't have um, communications with my steering pump. Um, at this point, so when I've checked my fuses, um, I've checked uh, through continuity and they all look good. Uh, I had a, a bit of things unplugged at this point. So anyway, uh, then I, I stopped, I went inside, checked diagrams. And one of the things I noticed is there is two power supplies plus the grounds obviously, but there is two power supplies to my steering uh, pump. There is the main 
um, uh, power to the pump, which powers the, the, the module as well, but it has the main thick wire, which I'll show you in a minute. And there is Fuse 7, uh, Fuse 7, which is uh, on the BSM. When I measure those two voltages at this point already with the ignition on, obviously I just put things back on as you're going to see, I'm going to show you. And I put um, ignition on, I've checked, I had 12 volts on both sides of my Fuse 7 in the BSM or PSW, PSFW that feeds the pump. It's one of the voltage that feeds the, the, the steering module. Um, and I had voltage on both sides because what I thought was because the, the BSM does have, is one of those that is sealed with internal relay. So I thought if, if I have an internal relay failing, then, you know, I could botch the somehow, try to figure out how. But anyway, I checked there is power on both sides, which means my relay inside is good. Okay. Uh, from there, I've checked the main voltage supply. And guess what? I had no voltage in there. There was nothing there. I thought, that's odd. When I started to check every single one, there uh, was no voltage in there. When I follow it back, um, and this is something that I've noticed right at the beginning, but I didn't, I didn't give too much of importance to it. But apparently that's where my problem is. Now, before I show you all this and take you through all this, uh, I'm going to try to see, because I have the battery on charge at the moment, uh, I'm going to try to crank the engine, see if I can start the engine, because my engine is going to crank now, 100% sure. I haven't tried yet, like I said, it's only charging for the last, well, four minutes while I've been recording this, pretty much. Um, and, um, and yeah, but I'm going to try to crank the engine and see if I can crank my engine. Uh, if the engine starts, then obviously uh, I'll leave it running and I will show you uh, what the problem is. But let's going to try to crank the engine and see what happens. So, ignition on. And on, let me turn the radio off. Okay. And look at that. Bingo. Okay. Let me turn this off. So, I still have a faulty brake system. Don't know yet why. We'll check that in a minute. Uh, that might be a new. I have power steering. So my only issue now is for my um, ABS, which I will check that in a second. But for now, I'm going to show you exactly what I've done. I've turned the engine off again. I'm going to show you exactly what I've done and how I got to this. And I'm going to show you what I think my problem might be or what my problem is. Okay, so basically my fuse 7 for my power steering that was good voltage on both sides with ignition on and then this fuse here which is fuse 7 as well 80 amps for my power steering pump and guess what I had no voltage here no voltage here as I follow it back it comes through this sort of power management here which this is actually a kind of a relay inside that switches on and off all this area here okay and there was no voltage in there so all I've done was I've jumped this for now from my main battery cable to here and guess what well you've seen it the engine started straight away I still have faults in there for my ABS which we're gonna tackle um, as well uh, maybe on this video why not but for now I'm gonna take this off um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but I can see a little bit of corrosion I suppose it's not gonna be very good Maybe you can see a little bit of corrosion right there. Can you see it? So I don't know if that's why it's causing my issue, if this little module here is faulty. Um, but uh, but it definitely is that. So, and obviously we have a problem with my ABS as you've seen. Although I haven't scanned the car. Uh, but actually, let's go to scan the car and go from there actually. Uh, but here what I've done as I've told you as well I just pull these back and uh, all my wires were good I haven't seen nothing wrong with them and that's when I've done what I've just told you okay and what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna try to scan the car again okay it's gonna be here my last one so we're gonna scan the car again and uh, and see if I can now have. Let me turn the ignition off. Okay. 
and see if I can now have communications with my EPS power steering electric pump and voila there it is ECU internal fault, power on fault, excess voltage, vehicle speed, vehicle speed. Let's gonna clear this. There we go. All these faults from ECU. This is all low battery voltage. Uh, so let's gonna go back now. Let's gonna go to my ABS. See what we still have in here. Electro valves, power supply, uh, fault, recirculation pump supply. So this is most likely is going to be my uh, relay that feeds the the pump. There's a main relay in there uh, that feeds the ABS. It feeds all these basically. Um, but I still need to see if is um, actually let's let's gonna do something here. Hold on. Okay, and check diagrams, and something really weird just happened. Um, so my my ABS unit, um, this is slightly different, guys. This uh, system, old pages they used to have a dual relay attached to that uh, BSM box on the outside, um, and that relay is usually uh, used to be a, a dual relay. I don't know, I think I've done a video in the past for it, maybe, I can't remember now. Um, but that relay used to feed the, the, the motor for the ABS and the electro valves. Uh, this car now seems to be different. Um, he acts, he's every, everything is actually fed from the fuses at the top of the battery, which I've checked now and they're good. And it's fed from fuse number six on the BSM. When I was measuring voltage on both sides, I don't know exactly what happened, but when I measured one side, I had 12 volts in there. When I measured, when I put the, the, the probe on the other side, I heard the click inside the BSM. And when I came here, look at this. Sorry guys, I might have to cut a little bit because of the music, but look, my fault are gone. Um, and when I go here, The trouble codes. I have no faults. <laughs> Obviously, I have all these now because I'm scanning the module. But but I have no faults, uh, which is is really weird to me. So when I come out, everything goes off again. And um, and guys, my only problem. So at this moment in time, I've st uh, obviously I've started and stopped the engine a few times, and the, the the ABS lights are gone. So it might be that was something due to all these that provoked something inside of the BSM, and that sort of voltage. I I I, I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, but for now, it looks good. The only thing now we need to tackle is that uh, sort of um, uh, power management. Uh, control thing in there uh, which uh, earlier I could not uh, where is that thing let me see if I find it here because I know it's gonna be here volta volt no my frequency receiver let me find it because I know An engine, engine right now is not there. Battery, I think, is there. Let me see if it's there. Okay. So, why it comes to here and then. Oh, sorry. Now it's still the same. So, hmm. Will this be that little thing in there? I'm not 100% sure. Nah, I don't want to go there. Let me go to live data. Let's 
see what I have in there. I, I, I'm not sure if that little thing in there is actually this. I don't know. Battery voltage, battery current, minus 4 point, minus. Battery temperature 13, battery charge 46%, the crystal battery charge imprecise by 10%, type of battery connected 70 amps hours. I don't like to see that minus. Uh, Oh, actually, no, sorry. It makes sense because I'm discharging the battery, am I? Well, I'm charging the battery at the same time. Okay. I'm not even sure if that's that module in there. If that's a module that I can communicate to it, I might have to go. But for now, I'm just going to remove that thing out. Um, actually, it's quite simple to know if it's that or not. Hold on a sec. Okay, so I haven't plugged uh, that thing, uh, the front of the battery that I've showed you, there is some corrosion inside. And I still have readings, so it's not that, unless it's something that controls that, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, unless I would go uh, dig a little bit further. Some of you out there that are hardly a little bit more uh, familiar with this system my nose, but I'm not too worried about that guys. All I'm going to do now is actually put everything back on because it looks like it's going to rain. Um, and I want to I want to put the car back on and I'm going to remove that little module and guess what we're going to do You're right. We're going to dismantle it. See what we can do with it Find out how it works and if it can be repaired Okay, and just before we do it guys, I was right to clear the faults. I don't know if there's any faults in there, but uh, uh, This is one of those like sub modules that can only be accessed by the BSI uh, So this is actually a module that is not really controlled um, on its own, um, it's, it's, it, there is some of these things on uh, on Pages and Citroen. Uh, some of the BSMs is the same problem. Um, you can actually go there, but then clear fault. You need to do it through the BSI because it's actually the BSI that kind of controls the, the that sub module. So we're going to try to go to the BSI because uh, I haven't done it yet. I want to see which fault I have here. Yeah, that's right. So that those supplies protection that was my problem, you see, um, and that's the relay. Look, uh, lack of currents between status of the key status of main supply main supply relay following switch off ignition. Explain on the fault coming from the BSI. Uh, let me clear these now. See what's come back. Okay, so the only problem I have now is this two. Uh, center power switch positive supply relay control, but detected open. So that was my so these actually should be my main fault f569 and f56b um this is going to be my um this is going to be my uh that thing in there that's obviously is showing an open an open uh it's, it's, it's open detected open and that's why i had no so now everything starts to make sense don't know if you guys are with me I um, hope you do. So that that's a kind of a relay in there. We're, we're going to open that and, and see what we can do with it. Otherwise, we'll have to replace it. Okay, guys. So I've lifted this bit of uh, uh, silicone cover up, whatever that is. I've cleaned everything. I've um, And I've soldered every single one of these points. The one that was most corroded was that one in there. We got it all done. So this is like a, a small module that controls the battery. Um, and obviously this here, right here, is a SSR, solid state relay. And uh, obviously this module, uh, from the diagrams, this module connects pretty much straight to the BSI. Is the BSI that controls this module on and off. Um, the relay is cracked right here at the top. There's a small crack here. Don't know if that if the relay actually itself is good, um, or if this or if it was the control side. I'm not really sure why the pins here are to connect to turn on and off the relay. So otherwise, I'll just apply voltage, see if I could turn it on and off. But um, because I don't know which ones are, I'm gonna have to leave it like this for now. And um, but I've soldered all this. We're gonna put it back on. Plug it in and see if that makes a difference and go from there really. Otherwise, we'll have to get a, um, another one of this. Um, and that's it really. I do hope there's not a problem uh, with between 
the communication here in the BSI. I hope he's not. I hope he's only the relay itself. The corrosion can kind of indicate that as well. But let's kind of plug it in and see what happens. Okay, and uh, let's kind of see what happens. And look at that. Bingo. Now, did that work? No, guys, it didn't. I'm going to show you. Oh. So I had to get another one. Unfortunately, uh, that didn't work. Um, I think is the. I think the problem is actually the SSR or solid state relay. Uh, the electronics. Yeah, they, that might be okay. Otherwise, I think it would give me some other kind of errors. Um, and the only thing I was getting, really, as you might have seen on the last, uh, on the on the on back on the video, is that uh, the problem was just saying the 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 serial relay was open or something like that. So it might be like like I've just said, it's a solid state relay. There's not a lot you can do. So I bought that second hand from uh, actually uh, Picasso. I think it was from a Picasso. Um, same thing, same stuff, and as you can see, the car is running. I've just started today, this morning, for the first time. Um, I just got the part this morning, plug it in, and I've cranked, as you have seen, and it started straight away. So, problem solved. Uh, in the end, was just that, uh, I think that is called um, Management and Protection Module. Battery Management and Protection Module, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the name of it. So if you ever have something similar like this, um, yeah, maybe that's your problem in there. So I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, I, I hope there's some information here you guys are going to find it useful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, please, you know the score, put them below. And like always, guys, thanks so much for watching.